Okay, welcome back to Mr. Quick's Flipped Class. Today we're going to talk about mixed numbers and improper fractions. Now you've already talked about fractions before, all right? You know what a numerator is? It's the number on top. It's the piece of the whole that we're looking at. You know what the denominator is, which is the number on the bottom of the fraction, which tells us how many pieces are in the total whole, okay? Let's talk a little bit about mixed numbers. If I've got two pizzas, and I cut them both into four big slices, because I'm a little bit of a pig, so I like to eat big slices. All right? I've got one, two, three, four slices over here. I've got one, two, three, four slices over here. Right now I've got two holes, right? This is four out of four slices that are still there. This one is four out of four slices that are still there. So if I, you ask me how many uh, pizzas I had, I'd say, well, I got two pizzas, all right? But, as we all know with pizza, it doesn't last very long, all right? So I'm going to eat a piece. I ate one piece, one slice that is now gone. I don't have two pizzas anymore, do I? I don't have two whole pizzas anyway. I have four-fourths over here, but what do I have over here? It's not four-fourths anymore. See, a four. Now I have one slice, two slice, three slices out of four slices total, all right? So when I look at this, I can see that I have one whole pizza and three-fourths of my second pizza. So if you ask me, Mr. Quick, you just ate that one piece of pizza, how much pizza do you have left now? I would say I have one and three-fourths pizzas left, okay? And that is a mixed number. It's called a mixed number because it mixes up, it combines a whole number, in this case one, and a fraction, in this case three-fourths. All right? Who is that? Turn that off. Thank you, video here. Okay, so I had one and three fourths pizzas left, right? What I need to do here is I can look at this two ways. I have one and three fourths left, or I can look at the individual pieces, which would be how we create an improper fraction. If one slice is one fourth of a pizza, I've got one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, these are still fourths too though, right? Five fourths, six fourths, and seven fourths. That's called an improper fraction. It's the same thing as one and three fourths. Seven fourths and one and three fourths, same deal, all right? It's improper because I've taught you and I've talked about that fractions, the numerator has to be smaller than the denominator, right? It's not the case anymore. If it's an improper fraction, it means that the numerator or the number on top is bigger than the denominator, which is the number on bottom, all right? I'm gonna show you real quick how we can go back and forth between the two. If I have one and three fourths, all right? I'm gonna erase this picture for a minute. You want to see it again? Rewind. Be kind, rewind. If I have one and three fourths, how I would turn that into an improper fraction, I take the denominator and I multiply it by the whole number. Then I'm going to add in the numerator. It's that easy. Multiply, add. Multiply, add. Four times one is four. Plus three, four, five, six, seven, right? That's my new numerator. The denominator, as we know, stays the same. Say it with me at home. The denominator stays the same. The denominator stays the same. So I've got one and three fourths is the same as seven fourths. If we were gonna go backwards, if I gave you an improper fraction, I'm gonna give you a different one, okay? So we're not just looking at the same example. If I gave you eight thirds, okay? How do I go back to a mixed number? This is how you do it. As we know, Fractions are division problems, right? That's why it looks like a fraction on your worksheets when I hand it back to you, okay, when you're great. Eight divided by three. Not too hard, right? Eight divided by three. Well, three goes into eight. Three, six, nine, and nine's too high, so two times, right? Three, six. I'm gonna put the two up top. Two times three is six. Eight minus two is two. It took me a little bit too long, right? Two. The number up top becomes our whole number, all right? The number we have left down below, or what would be our remainder, becomes the new numerator. 
and then the denominator whoop, stays the same. So 8 thirds is really the same as 2 and 2 thirds, 2 holes and 2 thirds left over. Real quick, let's take this 2 and 2 thirds and check it. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2, 8, denominator stays the same, 2 and 2 thirds is the same as 8 thirds. What I would like for you to do tomorrow, bring it to class tomorrow, I'm going to give you 7 fifths. I want you to convert that into a mixed number, all right? 7 fifths to a mixed number. I'd also like you to do, let's do 3 and 1 fourth. I'd like you to convert that to an improper fraction. Have those with you tomorrow. Have any questions that you might have. If you want to watch this again, rewind it, start it over. I'll see you tomorrow.